I wanted to do a quick video today about uh, how to configure the Valentine 1 to work better with Audi's side assist um, driver function. If you have a Valentine 1, they are triggered by the side assist radars. The side assist uses a K-band radar and uh, triggers these things. Um, it can be quite a, quite a nuisance. So if I turn it on here, you can see it'll start squawking. When I'm just sitting in my driveway, there's obviously not any uh, law enforcement in my neighborhood right now. This is being uh, triggered by the K-band of the side assist. Uh, might be kind of hard to see there, but that is the K-band. And the side assist uh, uh, is always operational. Even when you turn these off, this is the option to turn the side assist off, but that only turns off the indicators and the mirrors. As you can see, it still uh, triggers off the Valentine 1. So uh, the solution for that is to disable the pop function in the Valentine 1. The pop function, uh, from what I understand, is only made by one radar manufacturer and it's several years old and uh, not commonly used. So I'll show you how to do that. You first uh, turn the Valentine 1 off. And while holding the button in, turn it on and continue to hold the button in for about five seconds. Once it's turned on like that, you uh, push it again and it'll display the firmware version, in this case 3872. Uh, if you push the button again, it'll scroll through options. There's option 1, option 2, option 3. The option to disable the pop function is option J. So we'll continue to scroll through here until we get to J. Now once we get to the option we want to turn off, the up arrow indicates that the function is turned on, the down arrow indicates the function is turned off. So if we press and hold the button, the arrow will switch down. Now to save that configuration, all we do is turn the volume off and turn the unit back on. And now it should be a happy silent Valentine 1. As you can see now, it's not getting the uh, nuisance indication anymore from the side assist.